Uh, so let us keep our freedom, uh, but let us use it to the greater strengthening of our purpose. And we must always remember that our enemies will not be slow to make the most of anything that they can represent as evidence of divided purpose and weakening resolution. It is our duty here, just as much as it is the duty of the men on active service, to stand united, firm, unshakable in mind and heart. On this will certainly depend our power to meet the challenge in the present struggle, and when that is over, to answer the call to work worthily for the future of mankind. The spell of the good hours fades, and life again seems drab and uninspired. The right to grumble is almost traditional with the British race, who do it supremely well. It is a mark of freedom, as compared with Germany, where grumbling is quite likely to land you in a concentration camp. The impulse to grumble is not wholly bad. It may spring from an honest desire to improve things. It may avert or repair mistakes, and it can bring together different points of view. So let us keep our freedom, but let us use it to the greater strengthening of our purpose. And we must always remember that our enemies will not be slow to make the most of anything that they can represent as evidence of divided purpose and weakening resolution. It is our duty here, just as much as it is the duty of the men on active service, to stand united, firm, unshakable in mind and heart. On this will certainly depend our power to meet the challenge in the present struggle, and when that is over, to answer the call to work worthily for the future of mankind. The old Christian writers were keen observers of human nature when they placed this sort of paralyzing boredom among the deadly sins. And the way of salvation is just to carry on, which is often the most difficult thing of all to do. The stimulus of great events is not there, and it is not easy to keep in mind the need for doing with all our might what lies ready to our hand. We have time to ponder our own grievances and to reflect on how much better we could do someone else's job. The road which we intend to travel may be a long one. A great Englishman, Francis Bacon, once spoke of the good hours of the mind, those hours in which we strengthen ourselves to take high resolutions and to face grave dangers. Between them lie long periods of everyday existence in which